This is two voice practice that will be starting at 190 and going to 210. And uh, I guess I'll question today for the record. Mr. Brandon, can you please state your name and spell your last name for the court reporter? Brandon Bereth, B-E-R-R-E-T-H. And how old are you? 22. Do you know a person named Scott Fawcett? Yes. How do you know Scott? He's been a friend of mine since high school. A while back, last year, did you know a person named Kevin Donkey? Yes. And how did you know Kevin Donkey? I met him from a friend of mine in Galt. How long did you know Kevin? Um, about a couple years. Would you sometimes buy marijuana from him? Yes. And when you bought that marijuana, would you buy it to sell? Sometimes. Did there ever come a point in time where you got in competition with Kevin? Not so much competition, but I was no longer buying it from the guy. So there came a point in time when you were buying it from somebody else and then you were selling it from the other person you were buying it from? Yes. And was that sometime around when these murders of Kevin and Sabrina took place? Yes. Back around this time, did you also know a person named Joel Magana? Yes, I met him recently to that, prior to that. About how many times did you meet him, do you think? Approximately four. And do you see him in court today? Yes. Can you identify Point to him. Tell us what he's wearing. Right there with the green tie. Did you ever know a person named Chris Jones? Yes. About how many times did you meet Chris Jones? I probably couldn't put a number on it, but if I was to, probably around 20. I knew him a little bit more. Do you see him in court? Yes. And can you point to him? Tell us what he's wearing. Right there with the blue tie. Now, back around February or March of 2003, did you hear that Kevin was perhaps upset with you? Yes. What were you hearing? I heard from a friend of mine that I might want to watch out because he had heard from another person that he might want to jack me. And what does it mean when somebody says they might want to jack you? Pretty much just take what you have on you at the time, money mainly. And is this any kind of weapon used typically when you jack somebody? It all depends. Depends on the person, but yeah, it could be. And do you remember the friend that passed this information on to you? Yes. What's his name? Wesley. <laughs> now, when Wesley told you this, did he appear to be concerned at all for you? Somewhat, but he wasn't sure if it was quite true either. So, like I say, he wasn't sure. Was Wes a good friend of Kevin's? Yeah, yes. When you got this information, did it cause you any type of concern? Yeah, I was concerned, but you know, not too bad because like I say, I didn't hear it from actually Kevin and Wes wasn't quite sure either. So I wasn't too concerned, a little worried. And did Kevin have any kind of reputation that concerned you or something? Yeah, because he jacked people in the past. Was that a rumor that people had talked about? Yes, because I didn't know them at the time, so it was just hearing it from people. So when you hear he might want to jack you, did that you take that kind of serious? Yes, yeah, somewhat. I was a little worried about it, but not too much. When you heard that information, what did you do? Just kind of took it into consideration, you know, told Wes thanks for the thought, and that was pretty much it until I seen Kevin, you know, and then I would have asked him about it. Never got the chance. Do you consider yourself a friend of Kevin's? Yes. When you got this information from Wes, did you ever talk to Scott about it? Yes. Okay. Where did you talk to Scott about it? First, I believe it was over the phone, and then after that, at his home a little bit. So after you talked to him on the phone, did you drive over to his house? Yeah. I'm not sure if it was that day or not, but yeah, yes. And what was... What was your purpose in driving over to Scott's house to talk about it? Well, it wasn't necessarily just to talk about that. You know, I went over there to hang out and got brought up. So now when you were sitting with Scott, were you sitting around smoking marijuana when you were 
just having this conversation. Yes. And how does marijuana affect your memory when you are sitting around smoking it? Not much. Now, as you remember it, when you were talking to Scott about this, was there any conversation about jacking Kevin? Scott had brought it up, but I told him there was no need for it, really. So to you, it was just no big deal? You weren't worried? Yes. And as you remember, was anyone else present? No. Now, because you say no one else was present, does that mean there couldn't have been or there might have been? No, there might have been because Scott seems to think so, but... So after you and Scott or talked about possibly Jack and Kevin, did you go home and leave that day? Yes. Now, after you left, did you ever talk to Scott again about anybody possibly jacking Kevin? Yes. And how long was that before Kevin was killed? Probably just a few days. I would say no more than a week. And at that time, did Scott tell you that he was aware or concerned that a couple people might want to go jack Kevin? Yes. Brandon, you have told us you knew Kevin and Sabrina, Scott Fawcett, Defendant Magana, and Defendant Jones. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Right after these murders, did you give a statement to detectives from the sheriff's office? Yes. Do you remember about how many days that was after those murders? Probably about two. At the time you were giving that statement, were you upset with Scott for having to talk to the sheriff? Somewhat. Why was that? Just because I had told him from the start not to have anything to do with it. And did you tell him you didn't like your name being involved in this? So you said you were upset with Scott? A little bit. And why didn't you want your name involved? Because I was friends with Kevin and Sabrina, and I just figured it would be a big old mess. Were you afraid about you might be losing friends? Yeah. Was that the only reason? Well, that, and I just figured it would bring a lot of problems upon me. Why did you think it would bring problems on you? Because I, like I say, I was friends with Kevin and Sabrina. That's good enough reason. Were you scared at all? Yeah. What were you scared about? Just people having problems with me after, you know, after Scott gives his statement. Why did you anticipate that people might have problems with you? For the simple fact that I'm sitting right here. Did you have some information you thought they might have problems with? Yeah. And what type of information did you have? My friend Scott, knowing about it and talking to them about it and stuff. And had he also talked to you about it? Yes. Now, was Scott's apartment where you told him most of your problem that you were having with Kevin? Yes. And what did you tell Scott your problem with Kevin was? That I had heard he wanted to, like I say, jack me. Does that mean beat you up and take your money? Yep. When you said this to Scott, did you tell Scott that he should also stay away from Kevin? No, because Kevin didn't have a problem with Scott. When you talked to the police, had you told him that you told Scott to stay away from Kevin? No. I'm going to show you part of your statement. It's on page 16 and up there around lines 3 and 4. When you had this conversation, do you remember talking about maybe Scott shouldn't be hanging out with Kevin? I guess I might have said that. I don't remember saying that because, like I say, Kevin didn't have a problem with Scott at the time. From what you were hearing, the problem was with you? Yeah. Okay. Were you and Scott good friends? Yeah. Now, when you had the conversation with Scott about Kevin wanting to jack you, did he bring up the names of Chris and Joel at all? No, not at the time that I was telling him that. And again, when you gave your statement to the police, were you being honest with them? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you on page 44, lines 1 through 10, ask you to read that, see if it refreshes your recollection. Okay, did you have an opportunity to review this? Yeah, well, it might have been that night. I thought it was like a day or so after, but... Okay, so... But that was closer to the crime than now. All right. So do you remember the name of Chris and Joel coming up? Yeah, shortly after. Okay, and what was it he told you, or why did he mention the name of Chris and Joel? He said that they had the idea that they wanted to jack Kevin. Now, when he told you that, what did you do? Pretty much was wondering why, you know. Did you care? Yeah, I cared. Who wouldn't? Well, at this time, weren't you upset with Kevin? Yeah, well, I guess he was upset with me. He was upset with you, and he was talking about jacking you? Yeah. So did you care if a couple other people wanted to jack him? Well, I wasn't quite sure if it was true at the time, because I was just hearing it from Scott. 
I never heard it from them. So, you know, like I say, I wasn't sure if they had any plans on doing it or if Scott was just blabbing at the time. I wasn't sure. And so when Scott told you that, did you try to call Kevin or anything? No. Why was that? Because didn't want to cause problems if, you know, if they are just talking about it or whatever. I didn't want to cause any problems between me and Kevin Moore. Did you say anything to Scott about you didn't want to be involved? I told him not to be involved because it, I wasn't really brought into it. He knew that I wasn't going to go or nothing like that. So that wasn't even a question. Did he tell you how the plan was to get the weed? Yeah, somewhat. What was the plan? That they were going to go in there with guns. Why didn't you go to the police with that information? Because I wasn't quite sure. You know, I heard people talk before about stuff like that, and I just, I didn't hear it from them exactly, so I didn't want to cause a bunch of problems if it wasn't even true. Did Scott ever mention to you anything about Joel and Chris punking Kevin? That's the same thing. Them going, jacking him, that's pretty much the same thing. After Scott gave you this information, did he ever talk to you again about Chris and Joel planning to jack Kevin? I'm not quite sure. The night that it happened? All right, we're going to repeat that last segment just a little bit faster. This will be the 210 part. Beginning with a question for the record. Brandon, you have told us that you knew Kevin and Sabrina, Scott Fawcett, Defendant Magana, and Defendant Jones. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Right after these murders, did you give a statement to detectives from the sheriff's office? Yes. Do you remember about how many days that was after those murders? Probably about two. At the time you were giving that statement, were you upset with Scott for having to talk to the sheriff? Somewhat. Why was that? Just because I had told him from the start not to have anything to do with it. And did you tell him you didn't like your name being involved in this? So you said you were upset with Scott? A little bit. And why didn't you want your name involved? Because I was friends with Kevin and Sabrina, and I just figured it would be a big old mess. Were you afraid that you might be losing friends? Yeah. Was that the only reason? Well, that, and I just figured it would bring a lot of problems upon me. Why did you think it would bring problems on you? Because I, like I say, I was friends with Kevin and Sabrina. That's good enough reason. Were you scared at all? Yeah. What were you scared about? Just people having problems with me after, you know, after Scott gives his statement. Why did you anticipate that people might have problems with you? For the simple fact that I'm sitting right here. Did you have some information you thought they might have problems with? Yeah. And what type of information did you have? My friend Scott knowing about it and talking to them about it and stuff. And had he also talked to you about it? Yes. Now, was Scott's apartment where you told him most of your problem that you were having with Kevin? Yes. And what did you tell Scott your problem with Kevin was? That I heard he wanted to, like I say, jack me. Does that mean beat you up and take your money? Yep. When you said this to Scott, did you tell Scott that he should also stay away from Kevin? No, because Kevin didn't have a problem with Scott. When you talked to the police, had you told him that you told Scott to stay away from Kevin? No. I'm going to show you part of your statement. It's on page 16 and up there around lines 3 and 4. When you had this conversation, do you remember talking about maybe Scott shouldn't be hanging out with Kevin? I guess I might have said that. I don't remember saying that because, like I say, Kevin didn't have a problem with Scott at the time. From what you were hearing, the problem was with you? Yeah. Okay. Were you and Scott good friends? Yeah. Now, when you had the conversation with Scott about Kevin wanting to jack you, did he bring up the names of Chris and Joel at all? No, not at the time I was telling him that. And again, when you gave your statement to the police, were you being honest with them? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you on page 44, lines 1 through 10, and ask you to read that, see if it refreshes your recollection. Okay, did you have an opportunity to review this? Yeah, well, it might have been that night. I thought it was like a day or so after, but... Okay, so... But that was closer to the crime than now. All right, so you do remember the name of Chris and Joel coming up? Yeah, shortly after. Okay, and what was it he told you, or why did he mention the name of Chris and Joel? He said that they had the idea that they wanted to jack Kevin. Now, when he told you that, what did you do? Pretty much was wondering why, you know. Did you care? Yeah, I cared. Who wouldn't? Well, at this time, you weren't upset with Kevin. Yeah, well, I guess he was upset with me. 
he was upset with you and he was talking about jacking you? Yeah. So did you care if a couple other people wanted to jack him? Well, I wasn't quite sure if it was true at the time because I was just hearing it from Scott. I never heard it from them. So, you know, like I say, I wasn't sure if they had any plans on doing it or if Scott was just blabbing at the time. I wasn't sure. And so when Scott told you that, did you try to call Kevin or anything? No. Why was that? Because didn't want to cause problems if, you know, if they are just talking about it or whatever, I didn't want to cause any problems between me and Kevin Moore. Did you say anything to Scott about you didn't want to be involved? I told him not to be involved because it I wasn't really brought into it. He knew that I wasn't going to go or nothing like that. So that wasn't even a question. Did he tell you how the plan was to get the weed? Yeah, somewhat. What was the plan? That they were going to go in there with guns. Why didn't you go to the police with that information? Because I wasn't quite sure. You know, I heard people talk before about stuff like that, and I just, I didn't hear it from them exactly, so I didn't want to cause a bunch of problems if it wasn't even true. Did Scott ever mention to you anything about Joel and Chris punking Kevin? That's the same thing. Them going, jacking him, that's pretty much the same thing. After Scott gave you this information, did he ever talk to you again about Chris and Joel planning to jack Kevin? I'm not quite sure the night that it happened. 